Okay, so most students I find that they struggle in word problem because they do not know whether this question is asking for HCF and LCF. Okay, so right. For, and also for the purpose of um, students who do not know what is the comparison method that I'm talking about, I will also use the compress uh, use this comparison method right to use this example right to show you how can I can use the com uh, this comparison method to find the HCF and LCM of numbers. Okay, so first let's take a look at this question. In a computer game, players gain point by capturing the character which appear at various time interval. Character A appear every 28 minutes. So at 28 minutes, you will appear. Another 28 minutes, you will appear. 20, 28 minutes, you will appear. So what do you think this question is talking about? So should be talking about multiple. Eh? So which means lowest common multiple. Okay? Now, 28, okay, we will write down 28 okay is equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 7 okay how do I get this so fast because 28 is 4 times 7 okay, 4 is 2 to the power 2 so that's how I can write it as so quickly so next is I'll write down 48 again 48 you know is 6 times 8 okay 6 times 8 6 is 2 times 3 and then 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 so I will have 2 to the power of 4 times 3 okay if you're not comfortable with this always you can always use the ladder method to find out uh, so for a big number like 120 okay I will use a uh, the ladder method to find out okay 5 and then 5 times 12 okay and then 3 4 2 2 ah uh, 2 and then 1 okay so 120 will be 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times 5 okay so in I purposely use the comparison method um, to go and find the LCM yeah okay so uh, feel free to use your ladder method whereby you input three numbers in the ladder to find the LCM whichever is comfortable for you but the comparison method because it can be used in many ways all right so that's why we most of the time in secondary school we are going to use the comparison method now again I will go back to the fundamental of telling you that the LCM means we take the higher or lower power we want to make the number bigger so we have to take the higher power among the three numbers okay higher power all right so i will write down my lcm is lcm is equals to first i will take a look at 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 4 and 2 to the power 3 the higher power is 2 to the power 4 okay next i look at he have 3 he have 3 he doesn't have 3 but that doesn't matter because Two of them have three already. So the higher higher power among the three of them for the prime of three is three. Okay? And then next is time. So if you look at them, there is five here, and then there is seven, and then there's seven here. So we times five times seven. Okay? So basically we look at the three numbers and then we see which or, uh, we look at the three numbers and we look at each of their prime individually and then we take the the prime that has the high we take the prime that has a higher power among all of them okay so and then if you work out in your calculator it would be equals to okay 2 to the power of 4 is 16 16 times 3 times 5 times 7 okay and then after that you will get your answer which is 15 times 16 times 7 which is equals to 1680 okay so the LCM of these three 28 48 120 minutes is 1680 minute okay 1680 minute translate to how many hour okay so it will be equals to 28 hour okay equals to twenty-eight hour. Alright, so the question says that uh, Ryan started playing the game at 8 a.m. on Monday and all three characters have appeared together. When will the three characters appear again? 
so how you present for this part of the question is um, something you have learned in primary school 8 a.m. okay um, 28 hour okay or rather you can do you can do it slowly which means 24 hour it will be 8 p 8 a.m. again the next day and then plus another 4 hour 8 a.m. plus another 4 hour will be 12 p.m. okay so therefore okay the three characters will three characters equals to 12 p.m. on Tuesday okay so the important thing is for LCM we take the higher power among the three numbers okay so for the purpose of um, for the purpose of talking about completing okay for the purpose of talking about comparison method so let's take a look at the three numbers again which is 28 and equals to and then 48 equals to and 120 equals to so let me see um, 2 power 2 times 7 2 power 2 times 7 2 to the power of 4 times 3 and then 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times 5 okay yep it is correct okay so these are the three numbers again now how do we use the comparison to find the HCF HCF because it's a factor a factor is a smaller number than the than the three of them so we are taking the lower power and this is how you remember okay so lower power which means is equals to now among the three of them who is the lower power 2 to the power of 2 okay next times now these two have 3 and 3 which means 3 to the power 1 left. but there is no 3 here so if there's no 3 you cannot take because the lower power the, the because 3 is not a factor of 28 so it's not it's not a common factor anymore all right and then same thing for he have 5 but he have no 5 he have no 5 so you cannot take he have 7 but he have no 7 he have no 7 there's no common 7 there so the hcf of this three number is just equals to four okay so in if you're going to use the comparison method which actually is a very uh, easy method now most because most of the time uh, questions have already given you you know the prime factorization of the numbers okay some of the time actually then you don't have to put it all back into a l you don't have to expand it and then put it all back to the L to work it out. So you can just use the comparison method whereby the HCF is looking for the lower power among the three numbers and the LCM is looking for the higher power among the three numbers. Okay, and you should be able to get it right.